so for example this is uh, you know USA and in USA there are small small investors who are excited to invest into India's stock market because India is doing good India mein corona ka effect kam raha hai India has been quite comparatively successful in dealing with the corona India's stock market is doing good as compared to USA so small small investors want to invest into the India's stock market but uh, they are taking the help of a institution which is called foreign institutional investor so uh, it can be a bank or it can be some other agency right so this uh, institution this is collecting the funds from lot many people and it has uh, it goes to the India's stock market it registers itself with the with the regulator of the India's stock market that is a SEBI and it invests into the India's stock market right so this is for this transaction this FII it issues it issues some instrument to these investors so this is called participatory notes right so they are the financial instrument which are issued by the FII who has invested on behalf of some foreign investors into the India's stock market now there is a problem with this the problem is that these small investors they have invested into this comp this institution and India's regulator although it knows about FII but it does not know about these people so these small investors there is no KYC formality with the SEBI SEBI do not know who the who is the ultimate investor into this FII right because of this in many cases money laundering started happening that means the people started investing the black money into this FII and this FII started investing into the stock market so our stock market got lot of money laundered kind of money they got lot of black money and many a time that black money was rooted from India only so India's people they were investing into some foreign FII and they were passing that money back to India so this become a big root of the money laundering and this was a pro one problem another problem was that th this is a FII this is not FDI that means they are not stable investor they are interested into getting the short term gain so the moment they feel that India's uh, market is going to be uh, like so there is some problem in the India's stock market they will withdraw the fund immediately and the India's stock market will become unstable so there are two problems one is problem of money laundering because the India's stock market regulator SEBI do not know who is the ultimate investor secondly there it creates lot of volatility into the stock market so because of this lot of restrictions have been put on the participatory note investment right in fact in the external chapter I discussed that uh, Tarapur committee uh, recommended certain points regarding full capital account convertibility right so that India should get into the full capital account convertibility only after all the participatory notes are banned the participatory notes should not be allowed because they can lead to money laundering and they can lead to high fluctuation in the India's stock market right so a lot of restrictions SEBI regulations other restrictions have been put now the government tries to 
allow participate not only when they have the KYC of the people who are investing which is not a easy task so this is about the participatory notes now let us see so P notes are the are issued by the regist registered FPI right so earlier we call called them FII now we call them FPI right so after the Arvind Mayaram committee recommendations we call them FPI not FII right uh, P notes are issued by registered FPIs to overseas players who wish to invest in the India's capital market this is very crucial without registering themselves directly right so in our example these small small investors they are not interested in invest registering themselves into the India's stock market right though they are used on India Indian shares they are located outside of India right P notes has an anonymous nature this is the problem this is the problem P notes has an anonymous nature as these investors could be beyond the reach of Indian regulators and there are some re recent restrictions from the SEBI KYC norms anti money laundering norms it has uh, it has barred resident Indians NRIs and entities owned by them from making investment through the P note right so why they have barred the people of India so that the people of India do not root back the money from India to the foreign foreign country and then back to the India's stock market so to control the money laundering they have stopped the participatory notes investment from the resident Indians NRIs and the entities owned by them right so this is about the participatory note if you have any doubt you can ask me Sir, I mean, the crux is that the foreigners in India can invest in India, but the resident Indians can invest in India. Yes, crux is not. Crux is what you are saying, but the foreigners also have to fulfill the KYC norms. The KYC norms are all for everyone. The KYC norms have also banned India. We have also said to the foreign people that we have to follow the anti-money laundering guidelines. 